Nick. I'm with Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, Florida. We're the number one Class B dealership in the state of Florida. We're number three in the whole United States of America. But this is not just any old Class B RV behind me. This thing is the biggest, the baddest, the coolest expedition truck you have ever seen on the road. We only typically sell Class B RVs, which are Sprinters, Transits, and Promasters. But man, we have fallen in love with this overland space in the overland category of vans that we just can't help ourselves but taking it up another level. So where the normal vans are like 19 to 24 feet, this thing behind me, and I call it a thing, is 27 feet long. This is a Storyteller Next. It is made in a partnership with GXV and Storyteller. GXV has been making them for the last three to five years, and now Storyteller has purchased GXV and they are making them together. This thing is built on a Dodge 5500 chassis, and this is the Apocalypse Prepping Machine. If you think the apocalypse is coming, if you think Armageddon, the end of the world is coming, this is where you wanna be, so that way you can go anywhere, do anything with the lithium, the water, the solar, Everything that you need to go anywhere you need, this GXV Storyteller Next will be able to take you there. So in this video, we're gonna do a full walkthrough of everything on the outside, everything on the inside. I'm gonna tell you what I know about it, which is some, not a ton. There's gonna be a lot of you guys that are way uh, more experienced and smarter than I am about this, but you know what? I got one here. There's not a lot of these in the country. So I get to do this cool video on this cool truck and we're gonna go through it and I'm gonna show you guys if you're looking for something that's about 27 feet long and you're looking to be able to literally go anywhere with no limits, this is gonna be a great contender for you. And then the price of this is gonna be about half of all of its competition all over the country. So check out this video. I think you're gonna fall in love with it. So the GXV Next is built on the Dodge 5500 chassis. It is 27 feet long, like I said. This is the sister of the Hilt made by them as well. The Hilt looks exactly the same on the outside. The only difference really is the floor plan on the inside. So if you're familiar with the Hilt, all the exterior features and all that, you're gonna be familiar with this next. So when GXV's been making it for the last five years or so, they called it the XT. So when Storyteller came along, they added the NE and called it a next, which is, you know, pretty genius, right? The next, it's the next thing they're gonna build. I don't know, pretty cool. But they they have been, um, GXV has been making them in Springfield, Missouri for the, for the last five years, and they've been selling great. It is a phenomenal floor plan, very comparable to the Earth Roamer LTI. That's about, I don't know, 800 to a million, $800,000 to a million dollars, where this thing here, well, one of the beautiful things about Storyteller is they have their see-through pricing. This thing here is $446,000. So it's, it is half of what the Earth Roamer is. And I've been in both of them. I've, I've walked all through both of them. There's no way this is even close to half the vehicle. In my mind, when you look at the options, the way they're laid out, the way it looks and the quality, this here is more of a vehicle than an Earth Roamer is. Now, obviously some of you guys watching this are gonna comment below, Earth Roamer's this, Earth Roamer's that. I don't care about Earth Roamer. What we care about today is Storyteller and this next. So, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it looks great. I love how they did the spray on bed liner. It's a high pressure spray on bed liner on the entire truck. I'm gonna say van a lot on accident because that's just what I do is I just, I sell vans. But today we're doing a truck. So on the truck, it's a high pressure spray on bed liner. This here is uh, AEV, it's a snorkel. So that way you can take this thing under through water, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be brave enough to take it through five or six feet of water. Uh, but some people like to take things all the way to the hilt. So those people will probably push the limits and see what all they can do. So these are buck stop wheels. They're 41 inch wheels uh, with, with the tires. It does have the liquid spring. So liquid springs are great because you have a high setting, you have a low setting, and then it kind of absorbs all of the bounce that you would assume you would get from something this size. Uh, you also have a, I think this is a quarter inch um, 
quarter inch thick steel bumper or aluminum, this is an aluminum bumper. Um, it does have these KC lights all the way around along with these big LED lights here. If you look at this thing in at nighttime, it looks like it is a, a UFO landing somewhere. There's a 360 lighting package all the way around it, all the way around the bottom and all the way around the top. And those are some of the biggest lights you're gonna see anywhere. This is a 16,500 pound winch. So this winch has a remote controller. You pull it out, you can hook it to a tree and you can pull yourself out of issues or you can hook it up to your friend's RV or truck or whatever and you can pull them out as well. Totally depends. Um, I will say I have used it on a hilt. We were driving and we got into, me and my friend Hank Strange got into a little sticky situation. And so we had to pull the winch out and we hooked it to another machine. And that other machine was nice enough to pull us out of the sticky situation we got ourselves in. So as, as you continue to walk, you see more KC lights, you know, Ram, they use on this one here, this is the limited Ram, um, the limited Ram chassis. So it's gonna give you the high performance LED lights, the limited chassis is also gonna give you the two fuel tanks. So you don't just have one, you actually have two. And I think it's a 90 gallon fuel tank, which is pretty insane. Um, I may be wrong on that. I'm, I'm not sure. I do know there's two fuel tanks. So I'll find out the exact gallons of the fuel tanks for you. Um, but I just love these wheels. I love the look of them. I love how heavy do they are. Big old continental tires. Um, and something unique. So there's a few differences between the necks and the hill, and I'm gonna be pointing them out as we go along. One of the differences is this running board. So as soon as you open the door, you do have this running board that does step down. The hilt does not have that. Now, are they gonna be installing that on the hilt in the future? I don't know, but I do know currently the hilt does not come with this automatic pop down. And I'm, I'm kind of an impatient guy, so typically when there's power running boards, I open it and I just jump over the power running boards. I can't just stand there and wait for it. Go. But this one is definitely fast enough for me. I mean, look how fast it is. I can't even jump that fast. So this is definitely a running board extension that I would use, guaranteed. So they do have some outside storage. Um, so the outside storage is there's two compartments on this side. I mean, these things are heavy. Dude, look how thick that is. I mean, heavy duty here, big inside. They go up a little taller. They go that way a lot and that way. So you have a nice big storage there. Here is one of your fuel tanks. Here is the other diesel fuel tank. And as you can see in there, the bright red on the, on the liquid spring suspension there, I mean, that is by far the best suspension you can have on one of these. The Hilt does have that as well. So that is something that, that the two trucks do have in common. Um, here's another outside storage. So this goes all the way that way and all the way this way. So I can reach my arm in there and here. So nice big outside storage. Something that I love is these cassette toilets. So they just make it so easy to camp where there's no campground or where there's no dump station. You know, they have these, they have so many different uh, ways that, that you can use these now by all you gotta do, open this, pop this thing out, take this with you wherever you go, and you can dump it in a toilet, you can dump it in a dump station. Um, they also have these bags that you can put it in. I don't know if you guys have seen these, to where you you just have a bag in a bucket, you, you dump the waste in, in the bag, and there's some solution at the a powder at the bottom of the bag, and you shake it up, and it, and it turns it into like a gel that you can just throw away anywhere. So it's, I don't know all the science behind it, it still sounds kind of nasty, but, I do like the fact that you don't have to have a dump station to dump your waste. Um, you do have a marine grade plug here. You know, this is where you plug in so you can have shore power. This does have a ton of lithium. So this has a very high end lithium system called Mastervolt. So the lithium system is, Mastervolt is very popular in the marine industry. GXV has been using it on all of their trucks and epics and big, all of the, I don't say all the machines they build, all the RVs that they build, they have been using Mastervolt. Um, and this one is a, it's a uh, 16, I'm, I'm referencing my phones, I don't have everything memorized all the time. This is a 12 kilowatt hour system by Mastervolt with a 3,500 watt inverter and 1,200 watts of solar. 
So there is a plug. So if you are at a campground or something you can't plug in, you plug in and you can use their power. You can also charge your MasterVolt lithium batteries that way. If you're not at a campground, with all the lithium that it comes with, you can run the Truma air conditioner for 10, 12, 14 hours on all that lithium. The 1200 watts of solar is gonna charge that up so quick that and driving is in charge it as well. So anytime you're using your batteries, all you gotta do is turn your engine on and it, and it charges those batteries up. So it's a great lithium system. You'll see it when we get inside. But you know, one of the things we do at Sunshine State RVs, and we sell these, we've sold a uh, half a dozen hilts, we've sold next, the Epics. I mean, we're selling these big expedition trucks because there's such a demand for them. And I know a lot of you guys are watching this saying, man, this is more expensive than my house. And I'm gonna tell you, man, this is more expensive than my first two houses, like three houses actually. This is more expensive than my first three houses that I bought and, and I get it and this is not for everybody. It's cool, some people are gonna watch it and love it and dream. Other people are gonna watch it and say, I want one. So for the ones that say I want one that are ready, Sunshine Cerevis will fly you here to Gainesville. We will pick you up at the airport, bring you to our dealership, teach you how to use this. Then we'll send you to a campground for the first two nights so you can test everything, how to plug in, how to dump, how to use your liquid springs, how to use your lithium. We teach you all of that. And then once you leave, we guarantee you that you know how to work your van or your truck, everything in it. We guarantee you that everything's working the way it should. And if you have any issues at all, we have tech support, we guarantee you service appointments, we pick it up, we bring it back. So lots of cool benefits you have from buying from Sunshine State RVs. And you're like, Nick, you probably charge a lot of dealer fees for all those benefits. And you know what? I'm glad you asked that question. We don't have any dealer fees. We don't charge anything extra above the price. So pretty unique. I know I don't do a lot of plugs for the dealership. I mainly talk about the, the RV and the truck, but I always feel like I gotta plug that in at least somewhere in this video so you can know kind of what we do at Sunshine State RVs. So back to this amazing apocalyptic escape machine. Um, so this is the outside shower. So if you want to, I mean, a lot of times you're going to be in places where there's not other people or other RVs or other, you know, civilization. You can go out in the middle of Moab and be camping. You can shower out here if you want. Like, you know, I, there's not gonna be anybody for hundreds of miles. So they give you a hot and cold water right here, outside shower. There is a 90 gallon fresh water tank and I'm checking my uh, all of my information as well just so I can tell you guys the truth because I don't want to exaggerate anything. 90 gallon fresh water tank. There's a, a guzzle HTO water purification system. Um, lots of cool things. So the whole, the purification system is built in, but there's a 90 gallon freshwater tank on here. So you can have an outside shower, but there's also a big inside shower as well. This can also be storage. So this also goes this way, all the way there. And then let me grab the keys and I'll show you. We'll open up the other side, but nice big outside, nice big storage with the outside shower. There's also some more um, access to the equipment, to the plumbing and all that up there. It does come with some skid boards here. So if you do get stuck, you can put these under your tires and kind of helps you get out of the sticky situation. There's also a tow hitch. So people ask how much can the tow hitch tow? And I'd say as much as you need it to. Um, they give you a spare tire and it is on there by a winch. There is a remote, like a I guess it's Bluetooth, a Bluetooth remote that will lower that down so you can change it. And then you put the old one on it and you can raise it back up and stick the old one there. So pretty cool they give you that. I know it looks intimidating and daunting to try to change your own tire. I don't know if I would do it. Um, but if I was in the middle of Moab and there was nobody for a hundred miles, I would figure it out. Um, but you know, as, as we're walking, I, I, so they give you two color options. They give you a blue gray option and this like desert tan. My personal opinion is this is the coolest color. I like this color, but what's funny, the hilts that we've sold, everybody's wanted the blue gray. So, you know, but when I look at this, this just looks like, like a desert storm. You know, when I was a kid is when desert storm war was happening. And I remember watching on TV, it just, this this was the look. This like reminds me of desert storm and yeah, so it's pretty cool. But if you open this here, this storage also reaches all the way through to where you can access it from here or you can access it from here. So either way, 
you can access chairs, tables, whatever you have, you can, you can store and access it through there. Um, there is some controls here. There are 110 plugs. I haven't the slightest idea what that control does. Maybe we'll figure that out for you, but I do not know. It's up and down. Or maybe this is the winch. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that's for the, I bet you that's for the winch right there. I would say this is for the winch if I had to guess. I will get some clarity for you though. And we'll like put a little blurb on the video right now. Um, so we talked about the differences between the hilt and the next. So the hilt didn't have this like form back here with, with all of this. So the next does. The other thing that, that I think is a big difference between the hilt and the next are these stairs. So these are really, really heavy duty stairs that they put on the next that the hilt, I'm, I'm hoping that they're upgrading the steps on the hilt, but these stairs are really heavy duty um, and they're great. It also has a different door, but you know, as, as we're continuing here, before we jump in, I'm gonna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna give away the whole inside yet. There is a traditional awning on here with LED lights, your LED lights there, LED lights there, and you got these big windows. So these windows open up like awning style windows so you can access the people out here and you can look out. There's one more storage compartment outside I'm gonna show you, and then we're gonna jump inside. So here is the last storage compartment. It goes all the way back here, all the way there, and it goes up about six or eight inches. So nice big stores, just like four or five storage compartments all the way around this truck. So outside is pretty impressive. What you're gonna love is that, and I hear this a lot, the husband stays on the outside of the, of the truck and then the wife automatically wants to jump inside. So the wife said, I don't care about any of that stuff I, I, outside. I wanna go inside, I wanna see everything inside. The husband's like, oh, I'm never gonna be in there. I wanna be out here and see everything. So hopefully all the men that are watching have fallen in love with the rhino line, the, the bed liner, the snorkel, the wheels, the winch, the lift, the liquid springs, and then go get your wives, let's show them the inside and let them get impressed with how beautiful the inside of this GSV Next is. Okay, so before we actually show your wife's the inside of the beautiful RV, I'm gonna show you the inside of this cab. So this is the limited cab. So this has every single option that, that Dodge puts on one. So from the nice leather to the wood grain to the huge navigation screen, all the chargers, all the controls on the steering wheel, the nice wood grain here. It does have the liquid springs adjustments and ride here, which is a huge, huge deal. This is what really makes this thing drive like a dream. Uh, it is four wheel drive. Um, I did do some research. I know I said earlier, maybe 90 gallon fuel tank. It has a 74 gallon fuel tank. So it does have the two fuel tanks. Um, and together it equals 74 gallons. So I did want to correct myself when I said that. So push button start, adaptive cruise, USB chargers, big, huge um, armrest and cubbies, cup holders, you know, and this is a four door. So you can comfortably put four or five people in here. And then in the back, you can comfortably sleep four or five people as well. So this isn't really, I mean, you can have two people and be totally fine, but you can also have four people and be totally fine here. You know, me and my wife and my two kids that are still left at home that, that still love me and want to hang out with me. The other two have moved off to college and, and they forget about their father except on the, on the first of the month every month. Um, but, you know, I would take those two with me in this and we'd go travel the world, right? Let them take a year off of school and, and we can go see the country. I don't know if I'm quite at the stage in life to do that, but... That sounds like that'd be an absolute blast if I could. This is the limited, very easy to drive. I've personally driven this, I have, and, I, and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. Very, very easy to drive. You do not feel like you're driving what it looks like on the outside. You feel like you are just driving an RV, something bigger than, than a truck. I mean, this is a, this is a Dodge 5500 4x4 chassis. Um, so this is their absolute top of line that Dodge makes. So now let's go jump inside, grab your wife's, and show them how beautiful the inside of this GSV Next is. Now that you are inside of this, this is definitely the interior of what you would imagine something that costs this much, 
that's this size, that's this luxurious would look like. If I brought my wife and we were just shopping for the RV that I want, I would see the outside of this and be like, that's exactly what I want. And I wouldn't even care what the inside looks like. But then my wife would be like, oh, I don't want that thing. It's too big, it's too this, it's too that. Then I would bring her in here and I would show her this and she'd be like, oh, forget that, Nick. This thing is awesome. I would love this. She would absolutely fall in love with this. My wife is very aesthetically pleasing. She wants everything to match and to look good and be high quality. And I gotta tell you, when you're in this thing, you feel nothing but everything flows together and the highest quality that you can make. So everything from the cabinetry to the floors, to the ceiling, to the these wind, I mean, these are real glass windows. Every I've never, in my 20 years, of dealing in class BRVs, I've never felt windows like this. I mean, these are glass windows that are awning style windows. Everyone else is like a dual pane acrylic, a lot lighter, but, but you don't have to worry about weight because you got such a heavy duty machine. I mean, you know, I would open that and I'd do this and now you can get fresh air the entire time right here. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. This is, as I mentioned, some of the upgrades from the Hilt these windows are a big upgrade from the Hilt. Another upgrade is the Truma Aventa air conditioner. So the Hilt had a different air conditioner. The next has the Truma Aventa. Um, the next also has the, the convection microwave with the built-in air fryer. And I don't know about you guys, if you've never used an air fryer, you definitely should. Um, this is a, a higher a high-end fridge. This is what GXV has been using in their XT model, which is this, and now Storyteller's kind of rebranded it as the next and put kind of their flair on it. But this is a nice fridge. I like how high up it is to where I can grab stuff, use it and close it. This is the freezer. So the freezer is usually a little lower to where you can do it, but it's still not on the ground. But this is really high quality. Verdi Frigo is an Italian brand, super high quality there. So I like how all the cabinets match and they all kind of flow together. They're, you know, all. Everything is dovetail, nice big cabinets, and all so soft closing. So nice big cabinets. I just think when they came out with that, that is like such a cool thing, right? Like to have that type of quality in an RV is pretty amazing. So you got lots of cabinets, lots of drawers, lots of everything here, big cabinets there. So all the way around, as you go, like I said, there is a fresh water um, system inside of this. So, so there is a water filtration system inside of here. There is a gray tank. There is the cassette toilet, um, the cabinets. And you know, something else before I jump in the bathroom, I really like how this cabinet doesn't just stop right here. And give you, I like how it goes all the way down to the bottom and it's a nice big cabinet all the way down to the counter. So I really like how much storage you know the, we have had people come and look at this compared to the hilt compared to a lot of different um trucks and vans and rvs and everybody notices the first thing they all say there's so much storage in that for being a 27 foot rv you get a real queen bed you get uh, two benches you get a ton of storage you get all this super high quality stuff on the inside but then on the outside you get something that is that is as, as ready for the apocalypse as this is. So very, I mean, very high quality. So you can hang clothes here, you put the rest of your stuff there. My wife would use all of this for her stuff and then she would allow me maybe that potentially. I mean, I, you know, I'd probably bring a few shirts, shorts and a pair of shoes. So I'd get this and she would get that, which, which, which would be fine. Um, so there's a lot of other things that are built in. So here's that nice big MasterVolt system that I was telling you about. Um, so MasterVolt has been making lithium batteries for a very long time. They are very popular in the marine industry and with a 12 kW system in here, I mean, you can, you, I mean, this air conditioner, microwave, fridge, light, this can run for days, for days, as long as you're using some power management. So the bathroom. Nice big mirror on the door here. And as you walk in, this is a different feel of almost any other bathroom that I have been in. So it's very tall and very wide. So I'm six foot tall, 238, 239 pounds. I might have gained 
a pound or so over the last couple months. I haven't been working out quite as much. But lots of space in here. Sit on the toilet. I got good space. I got good elbow room, good space here. You know, you're washing your hands, brushing your teeth. If you're taking a shower, so you can move this. This is a shower head. That seems like a pretty high pressure. And there's also a shower head thing here, so I can put it there and I can use it to shower or I can use it to wash my hands and brush my teeth. So pretty nice, there's both there. I like that there's some different cabinetry in here. There is a medicine cabinet in here as well. Um, um, I think, you know, as, as you're doing this, I think Storyteller really hit a, a home run teaming with a G. Oh, I forgot about the sink. Look at this. So big sink with this thing that comes down, paper towel holder, you got a soap dispenser, and it's one big sink. So, you know, you can put stuff in there. There is a cover for it. When you're traveling, you, if, if you need to put stuff in there, you can. Um, a lot of people put towels and they put plates and stuff in there while they're traveling. Um, I really think that uh, Storyteller hit a home run when they partnered with GXV to build these and to build the Hilt and to build the Epic. And they're doing some other stuff as well. But, you know, Storyteller is definitely definitely the industry leader when it comes to overlanding. So they make the vans, the mode vans. They're making the these uh, GXV trucks. And now they're also doing some travel trailers, which are pretty amazing. So I just, I, every time I've, I've done three or four videos on this, I've, I've spent a lot of time in here. Every time I'm in here, I'm super impressed with even stuff like this, like this tweed looking wall here. It's just not a, a regular bland boring. It's like, it's just something different, you know, like they, they really try to go out of their way to make sure that, that, that they're, they are improving every single thing you can see. So you have a table here. So you can sit here. Somebody else can be sitting there. You can be working, you can be eating, you can be just hanging out, doing your own thing. Um, then when you're ready to go to bed, this turns into a big bed as well. So it's a, a great area to hang out. That is much bigger. So that's a bigger hole to climb in and out of than the hilt. So you can climb in and out of this hole to the front and back. With my kids, I can tell you right now, they would be climbing in and out of that hole all the time. They'd be wanting to hang out back here, then they'll want to go up there and sit to complain about something. Then they'll come back here, want to hang out, and go there and complain about something. But if it was just me and my wife, we'd be sleeping up here. And then in the mornings, I always get up before my wife. I would wake up, I'd come sit here, and I'd you know do my thing. I'd you know do some work on my laptop. I'd read my Bible. I'd eat my breakfast, drink my coffee. This morning I went to Starbucks and I had what they call the medicine ball. My throat's been hurting. I don't know if you could tell but they have a special drink. It's an off-menu secret drink called the medicine ball. If your throat ever hurts, go to Starbucks, ask them for it. It actually helped me a lot this morning. Um, but, and my 15-year-old daughter thought I was cool for knowing about a drink that Starbucks had that was not on the menu. So I got some cool points there as well. Um, but I will say she could e easily be sleeping there and I could easily be hanging out here. But if all four of us were traveling, the other two kids would sleep here and then, let's get this out of the way, and then I would climb up here, and I'd be sleeping up here. So, this is the bed here. I would, I don't know which way I would sleep. I'd probably put my pillow here, just because it's a little more narrow back there. There are some light controls there, there's some windows. Windows here, there's storage here as well. Cup holders. I think they want you to sleep back here because of this. I don't know, this is a little, narrow to me it's a little close to my head this might be a little funky to me um i think i would put my pillow here and i would sleep this way but but i will tell you this is very comfortable um if you're sleeping and the weather's nice you just open this window and that window and you have breeze that comes through which is really really nice um but as you can tell these tables are not meant to be stood on so i won't do that Hope I don't fall. There we go. Um, there is a ladder that you can use. We don't have it here right now. So I gotta be innovative and inventive and find other ways. So this whole thing does come down and lay flat to one big bed as well, which is really nice. So, you know, as, as you're looking through here, you know, six foot, I'm six foot tall, so lots of space, you got fans. So, you know, every everything that they do, they make it to where, to where they have 
the customer in mind? How how is the camper, when I say customer, I mean camper, how is the camper going to use this RV? How are they going to camp in there? Are they going to work? Are they going to eat? Are they going to sleep? Are they going to be outside? You know, what? I mean, you want to have tons of windows so you can see, because you're going to go to some beautiful places in this, right? So you can really see what you're looking at and experience everything that's out there, which is what I love. So very thankful for Storyteller, very thankful that they are offering some really, really unique and cool products. There's not anything else on the road like this, especially in this price range. And like I said, I know this is expensive, but for what you're getting and, and what kind of freedom this gives you and the size it gives you for only 27 feet, the majority of RVs are bigger than 27 feet. And you get a lot in this 27 foot RV. So I'm impressed with it. I hope I did a good job of explaining to you all the features, everything that it has and showing you everything you can possibly be doing with this. Um, any questions, feel free to comment down below and let us know if you'd like to see something specific, just reach out to our sales team at sunshinestaterves.com. We will answer your questions. We do deliver for free anywhere in the nation or we will fly you here and you can pick up your next or your hilt or any other of the class B RVs that we sell. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. And if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you.